Uh, good evening and welcome to a new edition of To The Point. This evening we'll be discussing one of the main um, sectors in Egypt, or actually it's, it's bigger than a sector. Uh, we'll be discussing um, maybe the backbone of life, which is the economy. Over the past few years, unfortunately, we've been busy with different political aspects of the Egyptian revolution. Uh, in the Midis, there are bits and pieces, uh, sometimes when we refer to the economic burdens. As of late, we faced facts. The reality is we have a lot of economic challenges, a lot of obstacles, a lot of problems that we need to solve ASAP. This evening, with a distinguished panel, we'll be delving into what does it take to move forward, which is not an impossibility. With us is a distinguished panel. With us is Dr. Mohammed Saad Din Ibrahim, who is, uh, well, in addition to so many different things that I have here, he's a board member. Uh, he's a member of the Board of Directors at the Federation of Egyptian Industries. He's a, a member of the Board of Directors at the Egyptian Union uh, Investors Association, a board member at the uh, Chamber of Petroleum and Mining, in addition to different uh, uh, petroleum companies. Uh, he's also a chairman of the International Company for Agricultural Development, and maybe we can delve with Dr. Mohammed on to what happened to our agriculture. He's also the chairman of the Egyptian Company for Information Technology uh, and the chairman of the LPG Investors Association. Uh, in addition to so many different things, I hope I managed to sort of uh, give a brief introduction so that people can understand who we're talking to. Uh, with us also this evening, uh, we're happy to have Dr. Mohi Hafiz, President of the Pharmaceutical Sector at the Federation of Egyptian Industries. He's a board member of the Investors Association of the 10th of Ramadan, in addition to so many different other things. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll pick uh, with Dr. Mohi on to our pharmaceutical industry. Definitely, our great-great-grandparents, the pharaohs, they uh, provided the first medication. And on that note, what happened to our pharmaceutical industry will be delving also into that. Gentlemen, um, um, you, you, you have extensive, impressive CVs, and I'm sorry I can't capture all this because we have less than an hour to, to discuss our economic challenges. Um, in a nutshell, is it black, because this is the impression we've been getting <coughs> as of late, or is there light at the end of the tunnel? Maybe there are problems, but it's not so black as some are telling us it is. I think it is not black. Mm -hmm. And we have the light and for the people who have the vision, mm -hmm. for the people who are uh, looking forward for the future, yes. for the people that they didn't put the uh, problem and don't face it. Mm. We must have to work, we must have to have a production, we must leave all the problem behind us, we must cooperate together, all the people, the labor in the factory, the teacher in the school, and also the student in the university, everyone in his field, he must work, mm. work, work hard. Mm -hmm. He must put in his uh, mind that there is no way to be a man and uh, to have a future for his children or for his uh, baby. These people, they must work. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Mohi, we have a number of obstacles. What would you say are the main obstacles facing our economic reform? If we can call it reform right yes. now. Yes, well, first of all, I'd like to thank you very much for your kind invitation to this uh, respectable program, Nile TV. And I'm uh, actually would like to tackle several obstacles regarding the economy. Mm. Uh, really, um, we are in a very bad situation. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not pessimistic, but I'm trying to be optimistic <laughs> like Dr. Muhammad. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm not uh, pessimistic, but really we are facing a lot of obstacles. Mm. Uh, if you would like to classify the, the obstacles that yes. facing the economy, first of all, is the banking system. Mm. Uh, the, the banking system in Egypt should be changed. 
mm. and the rules and regulations which is guided by the central bank should be also changed 100%. Mm. Uh, th there is a, a lot of regulations that nowadays we are facing regarding the the main bulk of money that are invested now in the in the, in the, the markets is going through what we call it the uh, uh, treasury bills and bonds, which is actually a very dangerous thing. Mm. The treasury bills and bonds that issued by the central bank is increase the interest rate to, to be 15 percentage, which is mm. very crucial. Mm. The government should put another strategy for the industry especially. You know, the industry is a long-term investment. Mm. We don't have a long-term loan. And the, the actual meaning of long-term long, long loan that start from five years to 20 years. We don't have it in Egypt. Mm. The maximum period of any loan you can uh, take it with from any bank is maximum five years, which is again is the industry. Mm. The industry start to reward its benefits maybe after five or seven years. Mm. Um, also, the what they are call it the I score of the central bank. Mm. If the credit then, rating, yes, which is very dangerous actually. Mm. The if if there is any investors who would like to to make a deal with with the bank, and maybe for um, um, something abnormal, his credit cards maybe uh, has a debit of maybe one thousand Egyptian pound or two thousand, he cannot take this loan from the bank because the IS score catch him that he should have to pay 1,000 uh, Egyptian pound, maybe um, uh, an, an, an installment uh, may be retarded or something like this, mm. which is very dangerous. But How uh, you can do it? Yeah, but uh, uh, when you talk about I score or the credit rating, mm -hmm. um, usually you, the bank has to make sure that when you take a loan, you're paying. You will not yes, renege on this agreement. So yes, of the purpose course. of the I score is not, it's not a matter of one bill. No, no, no. Nowadays, I, it's one bill. I agree with the Dr. Mahi. Mm. what he say about this ice core mm. this is very bad experience mm. why when you uh, see the credibility of the person of or the company you must look at it as a whole yes. mm. not in the computer you put some small things i have a bad experience with these people mm. just they issue a new credit card for my son mm. and he didn't use it and for that, they bought the money, 50 pound, mm. to issue this, and he didn't know, and he traveled outside. Just renew this credit card. Three also. months, <laughs> I didn't know. And for three months, he didn't pay we, 50 pound. We put it on the blacklist. It put it in the blacklist <laughs> for everything. Is, Why? Uh, <laughs> they must see what is the reason. If he already used this credit card and he didn't pay, mm -hmm. in this time, they are right. But he didn't use it. Gotcha. They put those expenses, mm. and he didn't know about that. Mm. He find his name and the I score that he is not paying the money. Okay. So when he has a company for 50 million, it can stop all the facilities for him for only 50 pound, and this is mm. not right. They must re. And this is something new because yes, my understanding yes, is this was not how yes, it was working. Yes, it's they nowadays must, working. They must re study mm. all the things. Mm. Okay. Uh, so the banking systems and the credit rating. Yes, what what, what this else? Is, yeah, is a, I'm, I'm just giving an example for the, the bad rules and regulations of the central bank, which should be changed. Mm. Uh, also, I'm, Adam said before, the difference between the industry and the trade missions is completely different. The interest rate should be changed. You are, you are financing an industry to, to, to scale up the industry, to grow up the industry, and the uh, development curve should have to um, uh, um, reallocate another time or revise another time the rating of the interest rate, which is very actually uh, uh, dangerous regarding this industry. There is another challenge or obstacles regarding the economy, mm. which is the governmental one. Mm. You know that Till now, we, we don't have what we call it one-stop shop windows. Meaning? At any country of the Gulf area, if you'd like to, to license a new <coughs> company, 
even within 24 maximum 48 hours you can you can get your your license everything mm -hmm. i think here it even, takes a bit longer slightly you know. just to, <laughs> to 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 license a company at least seven days just the paper yeah. of the company there's not a bit not the problem of the paper of the companies or the documentation of the companies mm -hmm. the problem in the other license you need the the lands you need the uh, so the, the drawings, government red tape actually it's very bad the the, the operation licensing uh, yeah. it takes long time mm -hmm. and also it's a uh, preliminary uh, uh, licenses, which is also an uh, act as obstacles, mm -hmm. regarding the electricity, the water, the uh, the, the the power, everything. We, we have actually a studies, a complete studies regarding this, mm -hmm. and we can of course supply you with, with this uh, mm -hmm. detailed obstacles facing the economy. Actually, regarding the banking system, the government governmental one, uh, uh, some decrees and laws should be changed to adapt this. Um, um, if you can imagine that the lands mm. of the industry land mm. now increase from 100 Egyptian pound per one meter, now they are talking about 700 or more mm. for one, one square meter, which is mm. the value of the, the but, value but of isn't the, land the value itself. of the land hasn't this increased across the border? I mean, I think the value no. of the land everywhere is increasing in Egypt now. <coughs> no, or I, I can specifically to the industry. Now. Uh, the right people, or the leader people in Egypt, they are very good people. And we talk with them, they can understand what we mean. Mm. They can understand our problem. Mm. And they have to do the decision to solve it. But the problem, not for these people. Mm. The problem for the people under these people who are staying as employment mm. with 30 years ago. So it's not the decision maker? No. I can, I can tell you that it's we make the decision mm. from the ministry, mm. but under the ministry there are very bad people. Mm. What we this, call it the middle management these layer. People, these people, they have a habit that they want to keep their chair. And they know that their chair, they didn't make any something new. They mm. didn't want to have anything new. Mm. They do like their father do. Mm. And this, no development, mm. you can't change. So any new decision, no new uh, challenge, they didn't use it. Mm. They put the problem, mm. they didn't want to mm. do it. Mm. I have many experience for this. And this is the bad experience from the, that we are agree as investor. Mm. And the, the, the ministry agree, but the people don't agree. And these people who are doing everything, and the ministry don't face them, don't have a punishment for them, because these people, for the government, no one punish anyone. Mm. He come, he do what he like, and for that, no one tell him, what you do today, I will not give you salary, because he didn't do it. Mm. Nothing. Mm. He take his salary at the end, so he didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for so we, we need an, uh, an upheaval. Uh, yes. of, the of the system from system bottom to yes. top, or from top to bottom, not yes. necessarily I, the top. I can insist that these people can go to home, and they take their salaries, and leave the new generation come with the good <laughs> vision this is, this and a, work. This is a very, very uh, <laughs> uh, optimistic way of, of, of presenting <laughs> a solution. I mean, no, no. you go home and, 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 and put your feet up and let us do the job. <laughs> it, it will be right. Yes. You, okay. will, you will solve all these things. Okay. What other obstacles are we facing? Is there a, a, another thing that you think is an obstacle? Or have we covered the main... The no, no, we have many things to yes. do. But, but, but we have... What, what are the main obstacles? I, I, can, That's what I, I can tell you that the subsidiary is the main, the fatal problem for Egypt. This is our main challenge? Yes. Okay, so now we're into challenges. The this, challenges is the subsidy. Yes. Okay. This subsidiary take 30 percent from all the income of the uh, of the country okay if we take since uh, you're mostly into the petroleum sector and yeah. this is a sector that is causing quite a lot of pain for for a lot of uh, people um, everything revolves around petroleum yes uh, this is our source the of energy, energy. Um, if uh, there are two um, um, examples when the pi price of fuel, if this is up, for example, 
it, in the end, it will reflect that everything will, the prices of everything will inflate. Whereas the salaries I, are not I, inflating right now. I right. agree with you for this. I will tell you what is the, the problem. All over the world, everything has a cost. And we, many, we anyone use any material, he must pay the cost. Mm. But here the government take on his <laughs> mind to, to take all this mm. different. It was one million since 30 years ago. Okay, they can pay it. But now they stay 30 years without any changing for this. Mm. The people increase, their consumption is increased, the price for the product outside is increased, the currency change has increased. All this come now more than 200 million. And there is no income. So, and most of this can go outside Egypt through the Sina and the Gaza to Israel, through the ship to the Turkey. If the man find that the liter of benzene here for one Egyptian brown and the price is nine, you can see that the cylinder of LBG in Egypt it was two and a half, now it's six pound. Mm. Did you know how the cost of this? It is 92 pound. So the government is paying the difference? The, the government paying 86 pound for every bottle. Why? And the people, they use it, they use it for anything because it is very cheap. Mm. They must do it. And the government say that the people is very poor and want to help him. Okay? But they, they help the people but give this subsidiary to them. But this not is for not the material. The, the people do not get the subsidy. It's the same thing with because, the flour, yes, for example. Yes, because, because, You're because subsidizing the, system, the system is not good. They, the system is not good. Mm. They must put the system. System no one makes subsidiary for any material. Because the material they used for the rich man for the poor man, mm. for the people, the foreign people inside Egypt, for anyone. Mm. So they must change. Mm. They pay the subsidiary for the, the poor people. Direct. So, so I, I, the issue is not the subsidies, no. as much as it's who is actually receiving I, I the subsidies. I didn't agree that they can they can see the subsidiary. To they put the subsidiary for, but for the people, for the, the people, the Egyptian people, mm. for the poor people, they give it to them. But now they didn't. Now, this embassy, uh, ambassador from America, he takes a subsidiary. Why? Because uh, they will not sell it for him by another price. Mm. And the poor man didn't have it. Mm. This is not good. Mm. All, the, all the five star hotel in Egypt, they use the subsidiary. Oh, to take one coffee for 25 pounds. Mm. Did they, they buy it different? No. No, they don't. So for that, we, we need the government to give the subsidiary for the poor people. So the I'm subsidy people. has to go to the right person. Not, right. not for material. Mm. Don't subsidize any material. So you would subsidize the loaf of bread, not the flour, for yes. example. Yes, right. Yes, I see that. We must have this. Uh, they call it the smart card. Mm. I see that any citizen. People are very concerned about the smart no, no, no. card. They think it this is, is the start no, to the shooting no, up is, of this the price. Very, very good for them. Mm. Why? Every citizen in Egypt, he will have the subsidy, subsidy for him. Mm. He keep it in his smart card. It's a cash. No one will use it. He, will, he only he will use it. Mm. And for the other people, foreigner or for company or for uh, factories, or for uh, the people who are giving outside, they will must pay because mm. he will. They will not have this card. Mm. This card is very good, smart. He is smart. And the, for the, the cat is smart for the people. Mm -hmm. And this will solve all the problem. Mm. Um, can we say, since we're, we address the issue of subsidy, another issue, uh, since um, um, I'll pick your pharmaceutical hat here. Um, as of late, there has been complaint about the quality of medication, especially the medication which is being distributed by the Ministry of Health in the different governmental hospitals. L licenses, yes. Okay. Uh, 
is this due to the fact that maybe we are over subsidizing because not everybody that works in the government for example needs to get the subsidized medication and what happens usually is you pay probably a pound or two per month and receive a medication worth uh, of, of hundreds uh, would you say is this a problem or is it not a problem and is this problem affecting the quality or don't we have a problem with the quality <laughs> <laughs> actually this is the most famous question that we are facing all the time yes. the quality of medicine uh, I can assure 100 percent mm. without any doubt mm. that we have a good quality of medicines. Mm. Th this, um, this problem actually f faced us from several years ago and many people are suffering or they, they said that they are suffering from the bad quality of the Egyptian medicines. Actually, I mean the local company medicine. Mm. Uh, but the multinational one is much more better and the quality is completely different, which is not actually uh, uh, um, true or, or truth. Since 1939, mm. we have a pharmaceutical industry in Egypt. Since 1939, mm. before uh, several countries worldwide, mm. we start to have these medications. If we would like to mention certain very important numbers. Mm. Egypt covers more than 93% from their needs by the local manufacturers. Mm. When I said the local manufacturers, I mean the Egyptian one and mm. the multinational one. Both of them are working inside the Egyptian mm. uh, uh, markets. Mm. If we would like to know the, the, the percentage of both local and multinational one, it's almost 50, 50 percent. Mm. I mean, if this market is now trading more than 30 billion Egyptian pounds, it's now 50, 50 between the multinational one and the local one as a value. Mm. If we translate it to volume, the, the, the difference will be 60 percent to the Egyptian companies and 40 percent to the multinational one. Hmm. Which means that each 100 prescription, there is at least 60% of this prescription or 60 pres prescription items or prescribed items are prescribed for the local Egyptian manufacturers. This bad reputation actually, unfortunately, I don't like to go through um, the source of this uh, hmm. rumors or, but nowadays the new fashion in the medicine that the multinational company itself are suffering from this problem. The people said, yes, if you are taking a multinational medicine produced in Egypt, it is completely different from those one produced by Saudi Arabia or by England, mm. which is really horrible. Now the multinational themselves are suffering from these bad reputations mm. and bad rumors. Definitely, we have very strong pharmaceutical industries not same only quality? To, the same quality because the guidelines guiding us to manufacture a generic medicine, there is a big difference between the innovator one mm. or the brand one and the generic one. The generic is the same dosage form, the same concentrations, but with a different trade name. Mm. The guidelines worldwide which control this is FDA, the American FDA or US FDA, the EMA European medicines and the WHO. Of course, of if the Ministry of Health are guided by the WHO guidelines, no one in Egypt never ever can violate or make a violence against this rule. The, the main issue that we are facing actually in the Ministry of Health, that the Ministry of Health themselves is the king more than the king. I mean, there is a lot of um, analytical, very tough analytical procedures at the Ministry of Health, starting from the raw materials, they take a samples. Mm. During manufacturing, they take a samples. post marketing surveillance, also they are taking a samples. So on these three levels or three ways, mm. from sampling taken from the from the can, this can medicine, I you, I'll, I'll tell you where, where some are saying the problem is. Yes. And, and 
uh, this, uh, as you were saying, the genetic, you have to follow certain, I'm not a pharmaceutical. It's a guideline. Uh, it's an international guideline. You're following certain chemical compositions. That the, the same chemical composition uh, of the brand one. Yes. Um, there is a chemical, if I'm using um, the aspirin. Material. The raw material. You are if, talking about raw material. Uh, the raw material. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm using this raw material for aspirin, for example, this raw material, I can from either... Europe or from So you've heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a uh, question we are also facing. Because some say our that uh, we, due to the fact that we have a problem with the pricing of the medication, yes. that, for example, the government is refusing that, sir, that you up the prices yes, of medication, right. You are right. that you end up buying the raw material, uh, <laughs> cheaper raw material, which might not be as good as the other raw material. Right. This is also, you can, you can, you can consider it. You get it, the point. Uh, <laughs> you to can, the point. You can, you can cons consider it, you can consider it logically, it's, it may be, it may be uh, logically approved or accepted. Mm -hmm. No. The production of raw material worldwide is now produced even, uh, I, um, I can assure, I'm, I'm sure 100%, at least 85% of raw material, of active raw materials, I mean ABIs, active mm. pharmaceutical ingredients, is now produced by China and India. Yeah. Nowadays, both of us, the local one and the multinational one, are importing their raw material from the same source, mm. with the same pricing. So, what is the problem? The problem is, <laughs> Aside from rumors, because yeah. there, uh, yes. uh, there is the, another side to the yes. problem, aside the, from... The, the problem maybe is, people are, are exaggerating, it's, 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 but... It's a, feeling, right. it's a feeling only? Feeling for the people? No. But the result is right? The, yes. And I'm, I'm, can you use like medication. To, <laughs> no, I, I would like to highlight this point. <laughs> I, think, I think he has a problem you know, with some medication. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Egyptian people like the other people who are at once. We have a very... Uh, strong or dangerous mistakes we are uh, actually following. The drug misuse mm. and the bad prescription. Or the, pharmaceu uh, the pharmacist who's prescribing. This is one, one of the drug misuse. Mm. The or, the, or I can advise you with mm. a certain medications mm. that suit me but didn't suit you. Mm. This is a, a totally wrong problem. Some people take a medicine which is prescribed wrong and he said that the, the medicine itself, it doesn't act. Because, let us say antibiotics. Mm. If you, I would like to prescribe an antibiotics, there is several microorganisms. You have to select the proper antibiotics for the proper organisms. Unless if the prescriber or the physician didn't prescribe the suitable antibiotics, he will face this problem. Another problem, the logistics. Transportation of medicines, Mm. Storage of medicines is very dangerous. Let us say, for example, for example we put transport medication in, your, in the middle of the heat. For yes, example. in in your home or at your home, where you can find the pharmacy in your in, at your home. Mm. So, m most of 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 our people or our nation are putting the medicine inside the bathroom or the kitchen, where there is heat and humidity. So, thank you very much. Heat and humidity, meaning acceleration of the deterioration of the medicines. So, uh, actually, and, mm. <laughs> so now it's the people's that, fault. You see, the handle, storage, the storage condition, the storage and the handle the storage is condition. not right. Okay. Yes. Uh, actually, okay. we are facing and another. Okay. Another. I can add something. We yes. have to change the factory, these circles. The factory itself. They choose the way. I didn't. I am not a doctor mm. for medicine, but we can say that if you have antibiotics, like you say. They, 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 they use material, the cheap material, for one kind, they use it. And they cancel the high material, the, the price of high. When they, their production will be from this, it will not be suitable for all the people. For that, the people use it, but they didn't have the result. Right, right. Okay. I'm, I'm okay, because we need to I'm move on to something. Yes. And, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I've it before. N now we are not now facing this problem mm. because the raw material now it transferred from Europe. Now Europe is a clean continent. Now they, they transfer the manufacture of raw material to the China and India. So the pricing of raw materials worldwide are now approximately the same. The same. Okay. But still, until now, the multinational pricing is here. 
and the generic one is here. That, this is what we started off with, which is the subsidy. Do you think that sh something should be done about the subsidy of medication? Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, not we, just we, the gas cylinder that we, is reaching... We don't have a subsidy of the medications. Ever, never ever, except the baby How can milk. You... No, well, Just subsidy comes milk. in different forms. No. When you, when, mm. let me finish. When you pay as a government employee, mm. and you pay like two, three hundred pounds per month, mm -hmm. part, uh, it's like a, a, some kind of an income deducted from your salary, mm. and you go to a governmental hospital and you receive the medication. Mm -hmm. Your you, prescription. You, are, you you receive your diabetes uh, medication. You mm. receive your uh, blood pressure medication. You receive your uh, uh, according the, the, the uh, uh, heart medication. The uh, health whatever. You mean the government? Uh, yeah, I'm talking insurance. about the health insurance. Uh, isn't this a subsidy? This is a subsidy. I mean, you pay uh, two or three um, pounds to receive a medication um, worth uh, right, of two three hundred right. pounds. This, it's different. Th this is subsidies for the employees, the yes. governmental or the private sector. Yes. This is, is suffered or afforded by the government, I mean. Can the government just one afford percent, it? No, no, just 1% from the salaries. If you, if you check your... your uh, I understand. Your, I, I have just the answer 1%. for you. I have the answer for you. Now, I know what you mean. You mean that the, the employment will pay a little amount? And receive and a lot. Amount, this is not right. Why? If you can I, afford I can, it. I can tell you, I can tell you that. If, it's not you, right if you, you can you, afford no, it. You are right what you say. But the problem where, as I said before, don't subsidiary any material, even drug, even uh, LBG, uh, gasoline, whatever. You give the subsidiary for the people themselves. Mm. Now everything will be good. L what you say now, like the bread, this you have it good for the good price. But if you give five plaster only, it will be very bad. Mm. Why? Mm. Because the government pay the subsidiary for this. But give the man or the person his subsidiary for him direct and leave him to choose what he wants from the market. Even from the hospital, from the pharmacy, from the bakery, from any place. Okay. He will choose what he wants now everyone will uh, develop his material, he will put it in good condition, because he, without that he will not sell. Okay, let's go into taxation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is talk, or now it's being studied, the fact that there will be different brackets for taxes. Uh, specifically, uh, what the Minister of Finance is studying, the possibility of increasing taxes for those who earn over a million pounds mm. per year. Do you think this is a good idea or is it a bad idea? No, it is a bad, bad idea. idea. <laughs> it is a bad idea. Okay. I will tell you why. So you earn over a million a no, month. No, 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 no. I will tell you why. Why? <laughs> if you want to have a taxes, you must put the reliable taxes. Mm. That twenty percent is very good, but you want to increase your uh, collecting of taxes. Don't put it high. Mm. You must increase the production, increase the investor. Mm. When you increase uh, these people and everyone will pay 20%, you will have a lot of money. Increase the revenues, uh, then but, you will get but, collect more yes, money. But what happened if you have only 100 investors and you will put not 20, 25, 50, these people, their production will go down and they will escape from the market. Okay. But if you want to have this, increase the people and let the, uh, the taxes down. After that, you will have a good collection from the tax. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mohi, the value of the dollar. Unfortunately, we're a country that relies, we're a very import-oriented country, especially in strategic commodities. Let's hope that this will change in, in future. Uh, taking this into account, it means that if the dollar goes up, definitely inflation will hit. Yes. We have been over the past few long years somewhat trying to control the value of the dollar. Can we continue to control it? 
and more importantly, how can we cope with the fact that sooner or later it will go up? Right. And we really can't afford more inflation. I mean, the average layman can't afford an inflation right, right. now. Right. It's actually, actually a very smart question, and I think uh, Dr. Mohammed Saad would like to... Uh, to make also <laughs> uh, yes, I know. More, more pessimistic. <laughs> I, I, I know. That's, that's why I started uh, with, with this point of view. I, I sort of he heard the hint. Yeah. Uh, actually, to control the devaluation of the British bond against the, the increasing rate of, uh, of U.S. dollars, the central bank also should mm. inject mm. more U.S. dollars to the markets. Okay. Each injection from the central bank controlling the, 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 the value or the devaluation of the issue. Can, can it afford to inject more? Till now, the, till now they, ca they can afford, but act unfortunately this is subsidized from the, the foreign hard currency Reserves. at the central bank. Exactly. Can we do that? Uh, actually, it's, it's a very big problem. Mm. And to put a definition for the inflation, that you have a money in your hand, but you can't buy anything. Because there is a high pricing for the, the goods. Which is and what's the happened? money you can carry in your hand doesn't afford to buy a, a goods. And the difference between the Egyptian pound and the US dollars is that the US dollars travel from Egypt to the abroad, and the US dollar coming from abroad to Egypt. I mean the import and export values. Mm. Unless we didn't increase our export values and bringing a US or hard currency from outside Egypt, we will face this problem all the time. And the government is obligated to inject more money to the, to the banks just to control this. Mm. Actually... Which uh, is impossible. Which it, till no, now no, it is, no, no. Till I, now I, it is I will possible. Tell you how to do it. Till now it is possible. Mm. But... To how long we can afford this, the central bank inject and hard currency to the, to the markets. Mm. For if we didn't recorrect these strategies of the exports and change from a consumer to an exporter, I think we will be facing... So from a consumer values. to a producer? A producer which and is, an exporter. Which, which, which we took a vacation. No, yes, an exporter. I yes. will tell you my opinion for this. Mm. It is not a matter of injection, the money from central bank or no. Mm. It is a matter of the system in Egypt. Why we are suffering from increasing the dollar against the Egyptian bond? Because we are not uh, capable to uh, have our communities in our country. Hmm. What we produce is less than our need. So if you produce a small quantity and you are increasing for your importing from outside to complete your life, you are not capable hmm. to have uh, the price for your Egyptian bound. So are consumers. So good consumers. What you want to do you must produce what you need, first of all. Now you are equal. For, you didn't need any hard, hard currency, and you didn't uh, have hard currency. So when you have this production equal, sufficient for your needs, if you have more production to export it, you are sure that you are controlling the money, mm. for, for money for you. So the dollar now seven, if you are exporting and don't importing, the dollar will be one bound tomorrow. Mm. If you didn't have production and you are in need to have import from outside more, so it will increase. Even you inject or don't inject. Mm. Even you inject from where? You didn't have the money. Reserve. Even the reserve. It will come time uh, to finish. It will finish. Okay, so we have some reserve to increase it for the five years before for Hostenbar. Why? Because our export was more than what we have to, to import. Well, th this all... And, uh, we, 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 and also our source of money mm. you have for the people who are working outside, you have for uh, tourism, tourism, this... Th there was revenue of, uh, of hard cuts. What you say now, tourism is production. Mm. 
it is production. Mm. Now tourism is stopped, so no production. Mm. You you can imagine that no way to have uh, to put in the box your your your, your money. Mm. So for that I say that production is the main target. How can no you way. change? How can you change the culture? Because as of late, and maybe this is another issue that we're facing, or I would personally add it to the obstacles or challenges facing us, which is to get people to understand that economy or the situation will not better unless we roll our sleeves and work. We're all talking about our rights in higher salaries, our rights in income, our rights in uh, quality of products, our rights in better pricing. But we're not talking about production. You Nobody's want, talking about the fact that we need to produce. Problem? I will tell you now. Just decision. We need some decision. Like uh, we have from uh, Saloum to Rafah, we have from Rafah to Sharatin. All these speeches, just give it to the people outside for in the multinational companies. Come, put your resources, do what you like, and you have free for everything. Just give me 20% from profit, what you have. Mm. After that, go for the mountains. All the Red Sea, give it to the people outside or inside, and tell them, go, do your project and get the meaning, iron and uh, copper and uh, phosphate and the other, mm. and do what you like and give me 20% from you have. This for a little period, like 25 years. So it's like a BOT kind of... Uh... BOT. After that, you will have 20% from all these people, and it is not the matter for the 20% only. All the people in Egypt became working, in these factories and these resorts. Mm. All the factories inside Egypt are serving all these things. After 10 years, it will change everything. What about the agricultural sector? Since and also, the same. We're not talking the, about the, I, which is an industry which no, unfortunately no, no, no. was killed. The, and the and same, it's a very vital the industry. The same. Mm. The same. Mm. Just give the land for the people. We are live on 6% from our land. Mm. Mm. Why we are going to crowd it in this 6% only and leave all the other? Hmm. We need the people to go outside. Just the government give only some uh, routes hmm. and communication and leave the people go. Hmm. Like all the, the other people outside. Hmm. And now, the price of the, the, the land for uh, New Cairo, 10,000. Why? From two, two, uh, 200 pound to 10,000. Why? Now 17,000. Now 17,000, he said. Because people. Why we are. It's popular. Because we all want to, to be together. So we, we. Only. We like the culture of. Okay. Of, uh, no, no. We, we are like. We are, <laughs> we are like Qatar. We have a small piece. No, we're not like Qatar. No, no. <laughs> if the, the price in Qatar <laughs> increased, they have the reason. Because they didn't have land. They're mm. small. Mm. But for us, we have a huge quantity of land. Mm. Give it to people mm. without anything free. Mm. Let him to, to, to build his home here and build factory here. Mm. And this time, and agriculture also. Mm. Let the people have the land. Mm. You have a problem to have the land. Now for the desert route, it was desert. Now it is agricultural route. Yes, and it's expensive. The land Why? is getting more They give more it to the people to work. Mm. Make the same, another route, another route, another route, mm. and leave it to be agriculture, also mm. the same. Mm -hmm. from, from my point of view, I'm sorry for interruption, but I'm going to comment also the same question. From my point of view, to do what you are asking your question, how to change people to work and work. Mm. The government also should change their, their strategies to the SMEs, small and medium enterprises. Which we've been ignoring, unfortunately. Yes, mm. even so. Hmm. The worldwide economy, worldwide, 85% of the, the whole world economy are depends upon the SMEs. If we didn't hit or, or, or tackle this, one of the challenges with another strategy, not the old one. Hmm. The old one of the SMEs and also the microfinancing is completely wrong. Hmm. 
you cannot protect the microfinance as well and also the small one because mm. you don't have the incubating industry or the incubation industry mm. so if we draw a circle this is the large industry so the medium one should be move around it and also the small one and the microfinancing one mm. so it's in feeding industries and the big one should protect this with the feeding industry or supply and mm. guarantee mm. the consumer or consumption of their production. Mm. The way of handling the SMEs in Egypt should be changed. And in this case, you should have to change the villages in Egypt in effect to, to be a factory. Mm. How to change each family uh, to, be, uh, to build their factory inside the, their homes. Mm. We should have to, to think about it carefully. China. This is the, 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 the whole giant all over the world is starting from the, the village mm. industry and then transfer to the mass production of their products. If you can see the Chinese people who are now uh, knocking your door now and, and, and at our homes and asking us for several, th th several things. Yes. They bought uh, several things in one bag. Yes. I, I actually, I'm really wondering how they can bought all these things in one plastic bag. Mm. This is something horrible. So the Chinese way to control or to to obligate the the, the persons to work and work, mm. they also uh, uh, draw or <coughs> have these new laws and regulations and rules to magnify the SMEs and microfinancing uh, uh, strategies, new strategies at their countries. Uh, gentlemen, w w we highlighted the role of the government and the people have a role as well yes. which is to right. work right um, but there is another side to it <coughs> we have the investor we have the Egyptian and the foreign yes <coughs> excuse me no. let's put the foreign investor on the side now because the rules regulations security what have you are into that but how can we get the Egyptian living abroad to invest? You must, <coughs> the government must put in their mind, no one, <coughs> even Egyptian or outside, he must win. If they put in, inside them that win and win, I think <coughs> you need money. <laughs> you need, you need water. money. <laughs> then, win and win is suitable. More richer than the <laughs> Suitable for the people, for the government. But the government don't put this inside uh, their mind, they want to win only. They want to take only. And they put in their mind also that this investor come to save them and to take the money. This is not right. Mm. We must change. Mm. And let's say, like this Gulf people, what they do? Mm. They didn't have anything. They bring the right people and say to them, okay, plan and do it for us and share us for the money you must win and also I must win. Mm. And from that they started. Now they are satisfied. They have everything mm. because they give the other people to win. Mm. How I can bring the investor from outside? He has his money incentives. outside. Give him incentive. Mm. Tell him that you will win. Mm. You must have profit. Should this wait until a government is sworn in after the elections, or should be the, this the role of the government now? Now. It will be now. Yesterday, not now. Yesterday, not today. Mm -hmm. Why? The, if you, get, you have the land now, you didn't have anything from this land. I say to you, come Nina, take this land and make your project and do it and give me some profit from what you have. They didn't lose anything. The government have to to pay anything. Mm. But this guy will come and invest his money and he produce and he will win. He will give you. Okay. And he will not take it away. Did you think this uh, England take the real uh, the, the state, this uh, train when they outside. go outside? Mm.
factories from uh, Al Mahalla. So, and so we have to, the BOT, we have to really act activate. Let these people come so one and of build. this tool called yes. BOT. We there must is another also BOT, and there is don't, afraid, yes. don't be afraid from anything. <coughs> even, I say now, even from Israel, mm. come and invest. I'm not so sure people would be very <laughs> happy about this. No, no. Well, the fact I, that I, they would want to really invest. I didn't talk about that, the political. Yes. I mean that yeah. because there are yes, I understand what most of the multiple, uh, multi, multinational uh, companies, they are from Israel or from other. I didn't care for the owner. Yeah. I care that the people who will invest in Egypt. So long as the money is flowing in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a typical businessman's <laughs> point of view. No, no, it has to be like this. <laughs> Perhaps uh, you to comment on this question. Also yes, go ahead. Uh, you are asking about why the, maybe sometimes the capital is transferring from Egypt to outside Egypt. Uh, uh, we still remember this law of in, in, uh, incentive law, law number eight yes. of yes. 1987. Yeah, it mm -hmm. now. It's completely changing. Yes. Mm. So we should have to back again to, to the, the, the good incentives. Mm statements in 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 this uh, law should have to to revise the game and to offer more incentive incentives for yes. the investors uh, simple examples which is more better to have new industries or manufacturing facilities or to work those are had been stopped it's more better more better to to work the stop factories actually yes. To, to make this, <coughs> we have to offer mm. the investors an in, in incentives for tax exemption, let, let us say, for maybe five years. If you can offer me, if you'd like to work this stop man, uh, factory, I would like to, to, to run it again, I will offer you five years tax exemptions. Immediately, mm. I will start so to run this factory. An incentive is very <coughs> important. And an encouraging... And, each and country also this investor, he pay taxes. Why he pay taxes? Even he didn't give it money to government. Yes. When he use one thousand nepal, it is a taxes. Mm. Yes. Mm. It is indirect taxes. There is. When he taxes. gives you the production here with local price, it yes. is taxes. Some sort of taxes. Mm. Yes. It is well, not only taxes take money like this. Mm. No, mm. there are many things profitable yes. for the people. Okay. So we must change our vision. Yes. Well, gentlemen, uh, uh, thank you, and most importantly, thank you for the optimistic outlook, which is how we uh, really have to start looking at things. And if there is a will, there is a way. Yes. We have to roll up our sleeves and work, really work hard. Nobody is going to rebuild this country except uh, our own hands, our own efforts, our own minds, which we do not lack. And on that note, wishing you a very pleasant evening and good night. Okay.